Hey everybody, it's Ann Patchett and Sparky Van Devender at Parnassus Books. I'm gonna try to go fast because there are so many things we wanna tell you about today. First off, if you're thinking about going on a book tour, forget it, hang it up, because book tour has been done by Jeff Kinney, who was here last week to do the new diary of a wimpy kid diaper overload. He came with a rock band, he came with buses. It was like a Taylor Swift concert. It was so outrageous. It was so much fun. And I will say it was so beautifully organized by our own Rayanne Parker, whose birthday is today. So if anybody wants to come by and give Rayanne some love, we are all for that. All right, speaking of love, I love Margot Price. I am so all for this woman and her new book, Maybe We'll Make It, is terrific. And it's her story about making it in Nashville, in the music business, but it's also the story of any artist who has to believe in herself and claw and suffer and get kicked to the curb and pull herself up again. And she does it all. And we are gonna have an amazing event with her at the store on the 16th in conversation with Ann Powers, wonderful music journalist. And so get online and register. This is gonna move you. Hey, we're in Nashville. This is a music town. Come out and support Margot Price. One of my very favorite books of this year is now in paperback, Gish Jens. Thank you, Mr. Nixon. Connected Stories, brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, Foster by Claire Keegan, which I read in one sitting and now have bought about five copies of and have told all of my friends to buy it. If you liked small things like these, and I did like small things like these, but oh my gosh, I liked Foster so much more. This is just an incredibly beautiful moving book and who doesn't like a book you can read in one sitting. Now, I'm gonna run through this really quickly. When I was growing up, they had something called Best American Short Stories. I was the series editor in 2006, and Andrew Sean Greer is the series editor this year. It's done so well for Houghton Mifflin that they just decided to keep going with it, and now they have Best American Essays, Best American Food, Science Fiction and Fantasy, Best American Science and Nature, Best American Mystery and Suspense. You know, if you've got a brand, just keep working it. And then finally, Sparky would like to tell you about his favorite book this week. It's called Spark in the Dark. And it's about a little fish who's afraid of the dark. And Sparky is actually a little afraid of the dark. So we're gonna read this together. Now, Andy's gonna tell you about a book we're really excited about. Thank you. Hey all, I wanted to tell you about uh, Bob Dylan's new book, The Philosophy of the Modern Song. Um, Dylan's taken, he's written 60 essays about different songs, everybody from Perry Como to Elvis Costello, uh, from uh, The Clash, The Grateful Dead, and it's told in this incredible Dylan-esque prose, and it's outrageously funny as well. It's really, really a special book, and I think people are gonna love this. And oh, by the way, my favorite recent book was These Precious Days, and it's out in paperback today, so be sure to pick up a copy of this. Over to Lindsay with today's fiction. Hello, I've got a mixture of everything today, but kicking things off with, it's the first week of November, which means we have book club picks. This month's Read with Jenna pick is The Cloisters by Katie Hayes. Uh, this is a debut novel. It follows a researcher at the Cloisters in the Met who discovers a tarot deck that is a little ominous. Something's a little off there. Uh, it's one of my favorite debuts I've read this year, and it's also a great page turner. Check it out. The Good Morning America pick is Someday Maybe by Oni Nuabonelli. This one follows a woman who, after the death of her husband, she's fairly young, takes solace in her community, works through it. Um, it's a beautiful coming of age story, but also a beautiful story about grief. The Reese pick for this month is the 10th anniversary of Cheryl Strayed's Amazing Tiny Beautiful Things. I can't even tell you how many copies of this book I've given people over the years, and so has every person who works at this store, because it's the best book for anybody going through a life change, going through difficult times, or just somebody who needs a little bit of advice and a comforting voice of a friend. It's a great book. We have tons of copies. Good pick, Reese. Um, some other books I'm excited about out today. 
Dr. No by Percival Everett. If you haven't read Percival Everett, he is one of the most innovative, interesting writers working today, um, and not many people have read him. So please give a, take a chance on Percival Everett. Just really, really interesting fiction. Check it out. A debut that I'm excited about is White Quartz by Erica T. Wirth, uh, which is an indigenous story with a little bit of suspense to it. If you want some historical fiction, Trespasses by Louise Kennedy is out today. This one takes place in during the Troubles in Ireland. If you want some poetry, uh, we have collected works of Joy Harjo. I love Joy's poetry. Uh, this is a selection of poems from her 50 year career. 50 years of poetry with Joy. And oh, what's this here? Oh wow, it's a paperback of these precious days. I don't know how that got in the stack. I bet we have a lot and they're all signed by Ann Patchett. Um, and if you want to give your eyes a break and take a break reading and just want to look at some beautiful pictures with some beautiful essays, uh, we have this gorgeous book, Joan Didion, What She Meant, uh, which is a collection of photographs from her life, in addition to many, many great writers who admire her, providing essays about her life. Um, so if you have a Joan Didion fan in your life and you're looking for a gift, or if you just want to buy it for yourself, grab this one. And up next, we have Elise talking to us about events. Hi, everyone. We have a week full of amazing events. No surprise, right? Tonight, we have Jennifer Alvarez, friends like these. And Rayanne, whose birthday it is today, is gonna to tell you more about that. And she is in conversation with Alexa Dunn, who has written Pretty Dead Queens. So this is gonna be so great. It's tonight at 6.30. I hope I see you there at that. Wait, what do I have here? These precious days? This is out in paperback. I read the hardcover, I listened to the audio, and now I'm gonna read the paperback, as should you. This is so fabulous. I'm sorry there's no event, but it's important. And then on Wednesday, Matthew Quick, this is We Are the Light. He um, is the author of Silver Linings Playbook, as many of you know, and he is gonna be here Wednesday night, 6.30, in conversation with our own Sissy Gardner. This is so good, it's a wonderful book. That's Wednesday. Then Thursday, this might be full. The registrations are full. So you might think it's kind of mean to say, you know, we're having Kevin Nealon, this is a great book. It's my brushes with fame. I exaggerate my brushes with fame. And it's these like doodles and little essays on his famous friends. We will have signed copies. And I'm telling you this because sign up for the newsletter then you will know, then you won't miss out. This is Thursday. Friday, ticketed event, we have Rodney Crowell. I've been talking about this for a while. This was rescheduled. Um, so this is gonna be this Friday, Rodney Crowell, this amazing book. And it is ticketed and it's also a, um, it's a fundraiser for the Musicians Medical Alliance, Health Alliance, and it's gonna be incredible. And there are a few tickets left, there are not many. So I'm telling you, if you're interested, go now and get it. What are you saying to me? Susan Eady, Saturday. Oh, for the Susan Eady, Saturday. Night. Okay, Rayanne, whose birthday it is, <laughs> is telling me that Saturday is Susan Eady. And then Monday, because I'm not gonna see you before then, is Kevin Wilson. Now is not the time to panic. It is so fantastic. So listen, there are a million of these events. I hope I see you at every single one of them. And now I'm gonna turn it over to the birthday person. Thanks, Elise. Hey, guess what? It's November 1st and today the new Parnassus Next book comes out. It's Sugaring Off by Jillian French. If you liked Where the Crawdads Sing and you like to read YA, this is the book for you. This is a book about a girl named Owl who um, is deaf thanks to her father who is now in prison and now he's coming home. She lives on a maple sugar farm with her aunt and uncle and a mysterious boy appears. That, so this is a really amazing book that you'll wanna pick up. Tonight, I hope you'll come see Jennifer Lynn Alvarez along with Alexa Dunn. If you like thrillers, maybe you're a writer. Maybe you've already started on your NaNoWriMo today. You wanna come and hear these two great YA authors talk about the craft of writing and their new books. And if you are a fan of the Graceling series, there's a new book, Sea Sparrow, and we have a few signed copies. In middle grade, there's a new book out today that I absolutely loved. It's Plotting the Stars Moon Garden by Michelle A. Berry. This is a, 
if the secret garden took place on the moon. This is about a girl who lives on the moon because there's no life left on earth. There are no plants on the moon until she one day discovers a secret garden hidden in her school and what she does about it. This is such a fun book. And Chelsea loves The Switch by Roland Smith. This is an adventure book about a boy on his 13th birthday, the power goes out all across the world. His dad's at work at the zoo. They try to go find him and they can't. And when he goes out with a search party to search for his dad, he's left alone in the chaos of The Switch. Friday night, um, this great author introduced Jeff Kinney to the stage. For your grown-ups in the crowd, the paperback of These Precious Days is out today by Ann with our own Sparky on the cover. There's nothing I love more than a paperback that I can stuff into my bag. And I know that you'll wanna pick up this for yourself and all of your friends. And I have a few picture books for you. If you picked up Shy Willow by Cat Men, which was one of my favorite picture books ever, she Cat has a new book today, The Little Toy Maker. This can be a holiday gift or it's for all year long. It's about a child. What if the, a child were the one who's making toys for the world and a woman who comes to see him? It's so sweet. And a friendship book, Will We Always Hold Hands by Christopher Chang and Stephen Michael King about two friends, Rat and Bear, who talk as they go through the meadow and decide that they will always be friends with beautiful illustrations. Are you a fan of the food group? picture book series. The latest one, The Sour Grape, is out today by John Jory and Pete Oswald. I had a kid try to buy this recently. He was like, I need the next book in that food group series. Well, it's out today. Thanks for listening and thanks for shopping at Parnassus.